fuck's sake, I put myself in the eyeball. <sighs> hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying PhD here. Fuck! We just lost to Cardiff. No, we didn't lose to Cardiff, we drew, but it felt like a fucking loss. That's what happened. Oh, 90th minute, little uh, Korean guy, Kim. What sort of a name is that for a bloke? But Kim puts in the uh, equaliser. Again, another another um, example of us not seeing out games when we're in winning opportunities. Just need to get over that line, but we can't seem to do it at the moment under David Moyes. Now, our, our form of late's actually been good. Some good results in there, you know, obviously Arsenal result. So, you know, this is just a little blip. A point away at Cardiff is a tough place to go. It's not the end of the world, but still, it's fucking unacceptable. It is not good. <sighs> I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about the manner in which we relinquish those two points at the end of the game there. Um, you know, what What to say about the, the game? Um, I mean, Rooney, what the fuck is he doing in the first half? Hacks somebody down, just like he did in that World Cup qualifier, uh, European Championship qualifier, whatever the fuck it was, where he just hacked that guy down for no reason at all. You know, there's, there's, there's nothing to gain from doing that. You're in the middle of the pitch. Just, he sees red for a second, don't know why. Did he call Wayne Rooney's wife a skank? Did he call his mum a hoe bag? I don't know, but you know, something happened or just nothing happened Rooney really. just thought, I'm just gonna kick that brick. Because that guy needs to uh, mature. You know, I thought this season he'd been, he's been acting like a consummate professional and today, you know, good performance from him, but you can't be doing stuff like that, Wayne. You know, grow up, mate. You, you can't do that. It's, you, you're playing for United. You should've been sent off. Should've been sent off today, Wayne. So, you know, there you go. Um, you know, he's very hot-headed, though. Uh, always has been. And I like that fiery aggression type attitude. But kick, lashing out at people when you're not even going to win the ball or anything, uh, you know, in front of the referee, is just a stupid thing to do. Could have could have cost us the game there. Um, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, Rooney's goal was fortunate. Fortunate goal there. You know, ricochet. That pissed off the Cardiff fans because, obviously, they were... They were um, Baying for his blood after that kick on whoever the fuck it was, I don't know, some Welsh sheep shagging type person. Sorry, I'm only joking, only generalising. Uh, although I did hear that uh, the only time the sheep in Cardiff are safe is when there's a game on at Cardiff City Football Club. So there you go. Um, now, ex United player Fraser Campbell scored their first goal, was a really nice move. You know, you could argue that the defending was not great, but it was just a nice move, great pass and opened up our defence and they, they scored. So, to be fair to Cardiff, they played really well, but United are just having a fucking mare away from home, you know? And at home, <laughs> to be honest, this season anyway. But, I mean, I think we're in sixth place now. We're behind City again, which just... I hate that! I hate be being behind City. Shin pad to the head! That's how much I hate being behind City. So, um... Yeah. Really annoying. Uh, you have to forgive my face, by the way, and all this stuff. It's November. I've just let myself go. I literally, with this hat as well, look like a tramp. If you saw me in the street, I'm pretty sure you'd give me 20p. Or a kick in the uh, ankles if you're a bit of a bastard. But there you go. So, um, oh, God. I, I mean, you know, we're seven points behind Arsenal now. That's quite a significant margin to be behind. Uh, again, because uh, also I can't believe the manner in which City actually beat Tottenham. Do you know what I mean? 6 0. I didn't see that one coming. Did you see that coming? City fans are going to be so fucking smug today as well. And all week. Oh, no. Oh, you can. You went to Cardiff and you, you only drew, yeah? Yeah? And you beat Tottenham 6 0. Yeah, fuck off. Anyway, um, yeah, so. Bitterly disappointed, as you can tell. Bitterly disappointed. What did you think of the game? Because. You know, we, we never really put... It wasn't a great performance. We never really put them under a great deal of pressure. It seemed like they were, you know, um, really up for it. They were going for it. Uh, they caused us a, a good few problems. We caused them a few problems. It wasn't a great game by any means. Just one of those shit games where you go away from home and it's a scrappy affair and we just play like shit. It does happen, you know what I mean? I'm not necessarily blaming David Moyes or the players. I mean, obviously, we were missing that Robin Van Persie. Could have done with Carrick in there, you know, these type of things. But... Really, you're supposed to go away to Cardiff and you're supposed to get three points if you're Man United, if you're the champions of England. But these things happen, you know, on the day. <sighs> Don't know what to say. I mean, you know, uh, I guess that, that Rooney challenge um, is literally like, uh, that's going to get 
made a massive thing of in the media. You can just see it tomorrow, all the things of people, people baying for his blood. Oh, it's, uh, you know, it was a bad challenge. He should have been sent off, in my opinion. You, you can't do that. You can't lash out. Uh, you know, that challenge um, yesterday by Morales on uh, Suarez was obviously worse than that. That only got a yellow card. Should have been in red as well. What's going to be the major talking point in the media? Well, I bet you it's Wayne Rooney. I bet you Kevin Morales just gets forgotten about now, even though that's worse. I bet you in the next talk, all you go on 606, all this shite, it will be Wayne Rooney should have been sent off for that. And whether or not the... Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to get a slap on the wrist from the FA for that afterwards as well. Although, hang on, did he get a yellow card? I've forgotten now. Yeah, he did get a yellow card. So it's been dealt with. So no, he, um, you know, he's not going to... Uh, well, as far as I know, he can't be fucked over anymore. So, yeah, shambles. I mean, I don't really know what to say about this shit. I mean, you know, absolute mad there. Anyway, uh, this is Mr. Flying PhD saying thanks for watching. Take it easy. Please like, subscribe, comment. Bye.